Hello, welcome to your cocktails. I'm your host, Peter. Today we're making an alien urine sample. Yeah, it's a urine sample. I would not suggest a drink pee. But if you were to, have this. It's going to be a lot of flavor to it. Probably the best tasting urine you ever tried. Not that I say ever tried any some, but this is obviously going to have some coconuts, some slight tropical notes to it, a lot of peach flavors, sour notes, citrus notes. It's just a wide array of flavors in this. It's all gonna be green in the end. It's an alien urine sample. But show you exactly how this is made. It's gonna be good. Can we try it? I've heard of it many times. I've seen it done on different shows. I've been actually wanting to try this one out for myself. So now we are. Let's show you exactly how this is made. First thing you want to do is take a half ounce coconut. Half ounce Malnacor Midori. It's a lot cheaper. Same flavor. Why not? Half ounce of peach schnapps. I'll tell you one thing right off the bat. Just the array of flavors that are coming up. I can smell like the melon, the sour notes. You can smell the coconut. You can smell the peach. It's just the whole area is just like permeated with the smell. It smells pretty good. Well, it tastes good too. You want know to take a half ounce of your creme de banana. You want to take a ounce and a half of your sour mix. Give it a good shake. Now when you're pouring, you want to leave room because obviously you're adding soda water and you're also adding a splash of the blue carousel. Blue carousel is not going to take up much room, but the soda water might. So that's how you leave about half inch or so off the top of the rim. That should be good. You want to top that with a splash of soda water. And then you want to add a splash blue carousel. There you have it, the alien urine sample. And I can tell you right off the bat, just looking at that, when you're just adding a splash of blue carousel, it doesn't blend, it just kind of sits inside the middle, because you are adding that sour mix, the different lower ABVs and all the different things. So it kind of sits like somewhere in the middle below the ice. So it looks pretty cool just in that aspect alone. See exactly how it tastes. Right off the bat, it's definitely sour. You can taste Midori. The peach schnapps is pretty well hidden. You don't really taste that that much. The coconut kind of comes in the back end. You're really not getting much of banana. It's like a very mild banana flavor. Main thing, probably because of the fact you're taking an already sour liqueur being the melon liqueur. You're in a sour mix, so this kind of amplifies the flavor of that. So this is your primary thing you're tasting. 
So it's like taste. It's kind of like a coconut Midori sour in so many ways. So you are getting a little bit of that coconut through there. But the peach schnapps. To me, I barely taste that at all. It's like completely hidden. The citrus, you're not getting that much other than from the sour mix because the blue car sour, it's only there just for effect from what I'm getting from it. It's definitely sweet. It's definitely sour. It's good. If I hadn't drink pee, I'd be drinking this. Not that I really drink pee, but it's definitely an interesting drink. That's a good thing about some of these cocktails that are out there. They're named off such oddball names. And it has nothing to do with what it actually is. Does that have anything to do with alien urine? No. Maybe because the fact it kind of looks like an alien. Maybe. But it's a really good cocktail. I definitely suggest you try this one out. Be sure to check out all the other episodes we had this week. Many other cocktails we made down the road. And a lot more are coming as, as the days come. But I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to like us on Facebook, Constant Spirit Cocktails, subscribe to our channel, submit your cocktails. I'd love to see different ones you guys make. It doesn't necessarily have to be even one you create. If it's one that you see online that you really enjoyed, send that to me. If it's something I can make, I'll make it. But if you do get it from some other source, at least give the original creator some credit. Let me know who created it so I have to. I can tell on the show so I won't get like people saying, you're making my drink and I ain't telling anybody about it. So if it's some other source you get it from, be it Drunk or Moogle or whatever, let me know who made it. But definitely submit the cocktails. I enjoy everything that comes. But as always, drink responsibly.